The year 1960 marks the beginning of the film, which takes place during the height of the space race between the United States of America and the Soviet Union. Following Russia's successful launch of a man into space, the United States is making rapid progress towards its goal of reaching the moon. During the Apollo 1 mission, there was an explosion that resulted in the deaths of three members of the crew. Cole Davis is currently doing his job at NASA, where he is serving as the director of the upcoming launch of Apollo 11. In the meantime, Kelly Jones is employed as a marketing specialist and attends a meeting while posing as a pregnant woman. Her objective is to persuade executives from automobile manufacturers to sell Mustangs and market them to women, despite the fact that the Mustangs are already marketed to men. Ruby Martin, Kelly's assistant, and Lance Vespartan, an advertising director who is in high demand, are both working alongside Kelly. Mo Barkas, who claims to work for President Nixon, is the person that Kelly encounters when she finds herself in a pub. As a result of her communicating to the employees of the automobile company that Kelly is not in fact pregnant, they decide to terminate their relationship with Kelly's company. Mo made an offer to Kelly to work for NASA so that they could enhance their reputation in the public eye prior to the launch. Ruby goes with Kelly to Washington, D.C., where she will begin her new job, despite Kelly's reluctance. Kelly and Cole go to a diner after they have finished packing up their room. While there, Cole assists Kelly when her book catches fire. Putting out the fire and making fun of Kelly is what Cole does. Before he leaves, Cole tells Kelly that she is the most stunning woman he has ever seen in his life. Ruby and Kelly start their work, and Cole and Kelly have an unexpected reunion when Cole realizes that Kelly is now in charge. Ruby and Kelly both begin their work. The shabby office that Kelly and Ruby reside in is shown to them. When Cole and Henry Smalls, the deputy launch director, discover that Kelly has hired an actor named Smalls to play for a news broadcast, they are not overly pleased with the news. The situation is brought to Cole's attention by Kelly, who reminds him that he previously stated that his team does not conduct interviews. When Cole and Smalls express their discontent with Kelly's work to Mo, Mo responds by telling them that Kelly is achieving the outcomes they desire and that they should therefore make an effort to develop a positive relationship with Kelly. During the time that Cole and his team were continuing to make preparations, Kelly intended to incorporate advertisements from major companies like Tang and Fruit of the Loom into the moon landing. Even though there was a significant amount of propaganda being spread, the media was concentrating more on the Vietnam War. After some time has passed, Kelly and Cole spend some time together on the boardwalk. However, Cole does not accept Kelly's offer to bring a camera to the launch and take pictures of the Earth from the moon. Later on, Kelly has a conversation with Smalls, during which he discloses that Cole was a pilot in the past, but he was forced to leave the program due to something that was going on in his heart. He informs Kelly that Cole is working to his garden, and Kelly goes to see Cole paying tribute to the people who lost their lives during the Apollo 1 launch. After some time has passed, Cole and Smalls extend a warm welcome to Senator Hopp, inviting him to visit the center and make a donation to the space program. However, Hopp does not fully agree until Kelly arrives and woos him, acting as if he was inspired by Hopp long ago. Following that, the party shifted its focus to obtaining votes of consent from other elected officials. Before meeting with Senator Hedges, Kelly and Cole are successful in winning over Senator Cook. Senator Hedges agrees to meet with them, but only on the condition that Cole conduct an interview for some of his acquaintances who owe Hedges money. In the future, when the team is celebrating their victory, Cole reveals to Kelly the airplane that he piloted. Kelly tells Cole about the time when she and her mother traveled across the country selling goods, which helped her acquire the skills necessary to deceive people throughout the journey. When Kelly goes back to her room at the motel, she discovers that Mo is waiting there with a new proposition. According to him, Project Artemis was a plan to film a fake moon landing video as a backup plan in the event that the Apollo missions were unsuccessful. It is possible that Kelly and anyone else involved will be sentenced to prison for their involvement or that they will be executed for treason if they are caught. Kelly gives her reluctant consent. To assist with the task, Kelly enlists the assistance of Ruby and Lance. 
Almost immediately, Lance returns to his haughty demeanor, and Kelly makes an effort to ensure that no one else at NASA may be aware of this information. After some time had passed, Kelly joined Cole, and he conducted the interview that was requested with Chuck Meadows. Despite the fact that it gets off to a good start, Cole becomes extremely angry with Chuck when Chuck brings up the Apollo 1 crash and blames Cole, claiming that Cole did not read the reports about the shuttle before it was launched. Later on, Kelly reprimands Cole for his behavior, but Cole defends himself by stating that he would never lie about the men. Kelly's reprimand is successful. A day or two later, Cole used his plane to transport Kelly to Louisiana, where he was scheduled to meet Senator Vanning and his wife, Jolene, for dinner discussions. Cole made an appeal to Vanning's Christian faith in order to persuade him to sign onto the space program, despite the fact that Vanning initially opposed the program. Cole and Kelly take a flight back to their hometown, where they exchange their first kiss after their success. In spite of the fact that Kelly and Ruby are beginning to feel guilty about their secret, the group joyfully celebrates their yes vote. Later on, Kelly runs into Moe at the office, where he is attempting to resign from his position with Project Artemis. Moe brings to his attention the fact that if he ever confesses his involvement in Project Artemis, he will divulge all of his secrets. Another thing that Mo mentioned was that they intend to broadcast the filmed version of the Apollo launch, even if it was a successful launch. Ruby presents Kelly with a sketchbook that contains detailed drawings of people they've worked with, including a picture of Kelly and Cole. Kelly is on the verge of quitting until she looks at the sketchbook, which contains the drawings. Kelly makes the decision to tell Cole about the entire affair, as well as the fact that her real name is not Kelly Jones, just before the launch of the product. Despite the fact that he is naturally offended by this, he agrees to assist Kelly in order to prevent the world from witnessing the fake landing. Additionally, he tells Kelly that he does not wish to see her again once they have completed their mission. As a component of his scheme, Kelly robs a television set with the assistance of a few young employees. The crews working on the soundstage are getting ready for the live broadcast of the fake landing that will take place should Apollo 11 successfully launch. During the time that everyone is getting ready for the big show, the employees fix the LEM camera that Mo managed to cut. In the same way that fake astronauts land on the moon, astronauts also land on the moon. During the time that Mo is present on the fake set, a black cat that is known to roam around NASA makes its way onto the set. It is brought to his attention that the cat is not included in the broadcast, which leads him to believe that Kelly and the team are utilizing footage regarding the initial landing. As soon as Cole is aware of this, he lets out an excited scream. The group rejoices in their accomplishment, and Mo expresses his gratitude to Kelly for all of her assistance. After that, the astronauts made it back to Earth without incident. The two of them reconcile, and during this time, Kelly reveals that her real name is Winnie. Cole is reunited with Kelly. A kiss is exchanged between them as they resume their relationship after he compliments her on everything she has accomplished. 